Hi, this is Alex. You're watching Brilliant. If a person's weight is 60 kgs on Earth, what will be that person's weight on Moon? In case any of you is feeling that this is pretty easy one, then I have a question only for you. How much will that person weigh if the Earth stops rotating? Answer it in the comment section and let me know. Now, moving on to the main question. If you'd like to give it a try, pause and when you're ready, keep watching to know how to solve it. To solve this question, one must know the difference between mass and weight. For starters, mass is a measure of how much matter a body contains and weight is a measure of how strongly gravity pulls the body towards it. Mass is same everywhere, whereas weight changes depending upon its location. Mass is measured in kgs, whereas weight is measured in newton or kgf, which stands for kilogram force. In everyday life, we use kg in place of newton and that's the reason even I used kg instead of newton in the question. The relation between mass and weight is given by W equals to mg, where m is the mass of the body, g is the acceleration due to gravity and w is the weight of the body which depends upon the value of g. Now on earth the value of g is approximately 10 meter per second square. More accurately it is 9.82 meter per second square but in this video I prefer to use 10 for easy calculation. Now putting the values given in the question weight w equals to 60 newton and g equals to 10 meter per second square in the relation we get mass of the person m equals to 6 kgs. And now moving on to the moon the value of g is 6 times lesser than the value that on earth. So I take it as 10 by 6 meter per second square. Mm -hmm. Putting the value of g along with mass 6 kgs, we get weight w equals to 10 newton. And hence, the weight of the person will be 10 kgs on moon if his weight was 60 kgs on earth. To minimize this process, we can simply divide your weight on earth by 6 to get your weight on moon. For example, if your weight is 90 kgs on earth, then you would weigh just about 15 kgs on moon. I feel Olympics has to be conducted on moon so the players can jump to the heights they can't even imagine. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more interesting and fun physics and math problems. Happy physics.